Jesus as well is going to be right in the front line. Um, so that house that was for sale is the next in line. And she said, oh, it's been sold. In fact, actually, it's been, its value went up from the time of before the, uh, the landslide. And I said, why? I know. And she said, people want to live here. It's a lovely place to live. The beach is just down here. Los Angeles. It's a close by Santa Barbara. It's a lovely place to live. And it dawned on me, really, it hit me very strongly, that there is not a single thing I can do as a physical scientist, as someone who studies landslides and earthquakes, you know, to convince Gina to move. She knows all the, the science, but there's something else there that's making her not do it. And she's intelligent, she's affluent, she could move out, she's got money to move. But she says that, not going to do it. So there's something slightly odd that's up. And that's about place attachment. It's about the cult, your connection to a place that overrides some of the, the other issues you've got. This is uh, Hurricane Katrina. Um, this is a, an event that was forecast in the sense, this is an article in Scientific American for uh, four years before it happened, saying essentially major hurricane is due to hit New Orleans, the levees aren't ready, and the city is going to flood. It's all very simple. This was also predicted in a much more um, definite sense, in the sense that the, the landfall right on New Orleans had been predicted four days before when the storm was away out here. In fact, when the storm was out here, it was a Category 5 storm. When it got to near the coast, it changed to Category 4. And when it hit New Orleans, it was a Category 3. The big worry was that the levees in New Orleans were capable of withstanding a Category 3, but couldn't. Be, uh, couldn't withstand a category four or five. So it actually dropped to category three. So it should have been all right. But actually, no one really was surprised when this happened. The levees broke in a, in a few places, and the lower areas got, um, got completely flooded. So for geologists, for geoscientists that had been working on the, the levees, etc., this was absolutely not a surprise. This is an area that's subsiding geologically. The levees need to be keep on getting topped up. There was a whole lot of reasons why uh, the administration was putting money elsewhere. It was, it was going to happen. 